Hey, what's up, Mega Bloks Halo fans? Here we are with a review of the UNSC Mongoose. Uh, this is set number 96849, or set three in, in the collection. Um, this is actually my first time doing a video review of a Mega Bloks Halo set. Um, for those of you who have watched my older videos, I have done a couple photo reviews um, and I did or I do have most of the sets in the in the first series uh, but I never got around to reviewing those um, so it was actually my first time and and for those of you I'm sure if you collect these you're already familiar with the fact that they dropped the uh, the Halo Wars title and it's now just Halo because originally uh, the original sets were just based on Halo Wars but now they're you know they want to span um, the whole Halo universe uh, so there you go uh, pretty cool artwork you know standard fare uh, it's got some cool artwork and, and a little uh, some artwork of of a Spartan right there uh, really cool that, that actually looks really cool I'm very impressed with that uh, that Spartan looks real badass uh, on the top have a picture of the two minifigures there sides uh, and on the back Standard fare shows off everything in the set. Uh, a little, just tiny description right here. It says UNSC Mongoose. These quick, agile, all-terrain vehicles are a useful tool for both battlefield reconnaissance and rapid assault maneuvers. Um, these are really fun to drive in the game. Uh, I only ever play, I, I, I've never played any of my Halo games on campaign. I only play multiplayer uh, versus or co-op, you know. Um, so yeah, these are always fun to jump on, you know, throw a buddy on, on the back and, you know, just uh, zoom from one end of the map to the other. So anyway, um, there you have it. I'm going to open this up and give you a look at what's inside. Alright, so first of all, here's the instructions. Um, oh, that's cool, that's different. This, so this is actually my first set from from the second series uh, so I haven't seen this yet that's pretty cool that they've got this big um, diorama I don't know if that's a photo or if that's all uh, computer generated artwork or if it is like a Photoshop photo um, it's got a little thank you note here that's pretty cool uh, and of course it shows all the pieces right there and fairly easy to follow instructions pretty cool so there you have it um, if I didn't go over it earlier uh, it does include the mongoose itself, a spartan with a sniper rifle a covenant elite with um, an energy sword and Covenant turret station right there. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's the stickers. And here's the parts bags. Uh, first there's this little one right here. And then here's the main one. It's got all the rest of the parts in there. Uh, and also, I don't know if this is needed in the actual set, but this was not bagged. If I do remember right, um, actually I'm not sure because I do remember some of the other sets including including a brick that wasn't bagged and I don't know if it's just a standalone thing they give you as like a bonus brick or something and does have a little, uh, it is has a serial number right there. So alright, well I'm going to get this thing assembled and then give you guys a look at that. Alright, so let's take a look at the figures first. Uh, I'm not going to go over the details of the figures. You're ready. This is the standard green Spartan uh, that comes with most of the sets. So, if you know, if you collect these, you're already familiar. But what I will go over is the weapon, because this is one of the ones that's, that's new to the second series. Uh, so, here we have the, uh, the sniper rifle. Pretty cool. Uh, some great detail. I only wish, like, that. One thing that would become standard on all the sets is some paint details on the weapons, like like 
like we got in the um, in the special weapons packs, but it's still cool. Uh, it does have some great detail on it, and I do like how the stock is not not too long, so you can hold it somewhat properly, better than you can like the shotgun and stuff like that. Uh, it does have a folding or uh, the 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 bipod does swivel up like that. Uh, and what I found out in the instructions that the uh, the brick is for is supposed to be able to use it kind of as a stand for that. So uh, pretty cool. But there is some great detail, and it is you know it's always cool to have a sniper rifle. And um, let's, see, let's fold this up. It does have the little thing there so that you can put it on their backs if you choose to do so. Uh, so pretty cool. Alright, that's that, and then you have the Covenant Elite here, uh, same old thing, but it does come with the Energy Sword, which is really cool. Um, this is my first time getting an Energy Sword from the new uh, Halo stuff. Uh, I, I love the detail on it. The, there is one downside, um, the blades aren't completely separate, it's got this thing in the middle. Uh, which is cool, you know, it makes it so, you know, you're not going to break this. This thing is sturdy. Uh, and you can imagine if, if the blades weren't connected by this metal piece, um, you know, it can be fragile and easy to break. You know, for the adult collector or, or you know, like a, a, a collector in general, they'd probably be careful. But, you know, these things are made for kids to play with. And, you know, not only uh, can it be prone to breaking, but it can be dangerous, you know. So, and you know, it is hidden, it is fairly, you know, it's not too noticeable unless you're really looking at it up close. Uh, but I do like what they did with the uh, energy sword. You probably can't see this on camera, but it is quite detailed. Uh, so pretty cool. It is my, <laughs> it's my favorite weapon uh, in the game, that and, and the needler. I'm a huge fan of, uh, although I, I do, I don't play as a, as a covenant um, my favorite weapons and vehicles are, are the Covenant stuff. They just seem more devastating. And, you know, the energy sword, come on. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at this mongoose. Uh, as you can see, I did omit some of the stickers. I didn't want to put those on, on the side there. And these little warning labels right there. Uh, but I did still put the uh, the headlights, uh, the sticker on the seat, and the uh, brake lights and stuff. So, so here you have it. I'll give you a quick 360 view. Uh, really cool. I'm really happy with this thing. Uh, nice rubber tires. Uh, seems to roll fairly well um, do like you know it's it's faithful you know that's all I gotta say it's it's faithful to the to the design of the mongoose you know as, as faithful as you can get in block form um, I've seen a lot of custom Lego ones but you know this is this is the real deal right here I really like what they did with the windshield I like how the handlebars here have some painted detail uh, and this piece, you know, it's a, I know some people aren't a fan of really specialized pieces, but you know it works. Um, so yeah, not not much else to say. It's it's <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, it's got a good size too. You know, it could have easily been too big or too small, but it's it's a really good size. Let me uh, let me see if I get the figure uh, seated on here. That's my one concern is uh, how well it can ride this thing and it does look like it can ride it really well. Uh, sorry, I'm not getting this on camera. I'm like, I'm not looking. Uh, just checking this out. So there you go. Uh, very effective. Can sit on it, ride it very well. Uh, I guess the one downside is it doesn't have like a, a thing here, a little platform that you can 
have uh, another guy stand on. We can always like have him stand stand on here. Let's use this guy for example. You know, <laughs> you can put a guy on the back if you wanted to. Uh, so there you have it. That's really cool. I'm really happy with this. Uh, and then for the Covenant turret, I did I did put uh, all the stickers on this one. Uh, really cool. I haven't seen this in, in gameplay, but like I said, I, I don't play campaign mode. Uh, or I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I, I, I only play multiplayer. Um, so I don't know, I, have, I don't recall seeing this in, in, in the multiplayer. Um, but I've only played mostly Halo 2. I haven't played much Halo 3 yet, even though I've had it. Uh, so let's get this Elite in here. See if we can get him to hold on to this. Oh, all right, that's not cool. <laughs> uh, and see if I can put this together, back together. I mean, I have to remember to be careful with that. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's put him on here first go and slide this back so there you have it all right so pretty cool this is a, a really cool turret love how it has a blade down here um, oh you know what I think I have this the wrong way okay wait is that the right way okay yeah I have that on the right way right all right so and it does the spin, I know that's out of focus now. Um, there you go. The spin, 360. So really cool. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you saw that fall apart and you're like, oh man, that's not cool. But, you know, look, look at what you're dealing with, you know. Uh, so I, would, I wouldn't call it a quality issue. Um, in fact, let me see. Yeah. Uh... Overall, I'll move the camera. Overall, I'd say this is a. I'm really happy with this at ten bucks for um, the mongoose, the, the turret, uh, a Spartan, an elite, energy sword, sniper rifle. Uh, not bad at all. I'm really happy. In fact, I'll probably get a couple. Well, maybe one more. You know, it's always cool to have a couple. Uh, of these mongoose is mongies <laughs> whatever you call it uh, plural um, yeah I gotta say I'm, I'm really happy with this set and there's a, aside from that I mean you know I should have been being careful with that because of you know look what we're dealing with there but other than that there's no I I haven't experienced any other quality issues um, so yeah there you have it the um, Mega Bloks Halo UNSC Mongoose. I'd, I'd recommend it. I really like it. Really, really like it. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.